Title, The Blessed Garden Once upon a time, in a small village nestled between rolling hills and lush greenery, there lived a kind-hearted man named Ali. Ali was known far and wide for his generosity, wisdom, and unwavering faith in Allah. He lived a simple life, working hard in his small garden to provide for his family and help those in need. One scorching summer day, as Ali tended to his garden under the blazing sun, he noticed a group of children passing by, their faces flushed with heat and exhaustion. Seeing their plight, Ali called out to them, Come, dear children, seek refuge in the shade of my garden and quench your thirst with cool water from the well. Gratefully, the children rushed into the shade of Ali's garden, where they found respite from the oppressive heat. Ali served them refreshing drinks and delicious fruits from his garden, and the children laughed and played, their spirits lifted by his kindness. As the sun began to set, Ali gathered the children around him and began to tell them a story, a story of faith, compassion, and the power of good deeds. Long ago, Ali began, there lived a pious man named Ibrahim. Ibrahim was a devoted servant of Allah, and he spent his days praying, fasting, and helping those in need. One day, as Ibrahim was tending to his garden, he came across a weary traveler who had lost his way in the desert. The traveler was thirsty and exhausted, and he begged Ibrahim for water and shelter. Without hesitation, Ibrahim welcomed the traveler into his home, offering him food, water, and a place to rest. Grateful for Ibrahim's kindness, the traveler revealed himself to be an angel sent by Allah to test Ibrahim's faith. Ibrahim had passed the test with flying colors, and as a reward for his unwavering faith and generosity, Allah blessed his garden, making it flourish with lush vegetation and abundant fruits. Ibrahim's garden became a symbol of Allah's mercy and generosity, and people from far and wide came to marvel at its beauty. The children listened intently to Ali's story, their eyes wide with wonder and awe. Inspired by the tale of Ibrahim's blessed garden, they vowed to follow in his footsteps, spreading kindness, compassion, and love wherever they went. From that day on, Ali's garden became a place of joy and tranquility, a sanctuary where people of all ages could come together to seek solace and inspiration. And though Ali may have never received a divine blessing like Ibrahim's, his garden was blessed in its own way, for it was a reflection of his pure heart and unwavering faith in Allah. And so, dear children, remember the story of Ali and his blessed garden, and always strive to be like him, spreading kindness, compassion, and love to all those around you. For in the end, it is not wealth or material possessions that bring true happiness, but the goodness of our deeds and the purity of our hearts.